Now, have you ever wondered what cookie dough would taste like in the waffle iron? So have I. Let's get started. I'm working with this uh, Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix that I got at um, Grocery Outlet. It was three for a dollar or something like that. So I'm going to take it out. It was in the freezer, then in the refrigerator. I'm going to take it out of the package and uh, see what I got going on here. The instructions on the cookie dough package say to scoop it out and put it on um, a cookie sheet. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut little slices and arrange them all over the waffle. So my waffle maker is ready, so I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to spray it with um, a little bit of oil, too, because I, I just don't know what the stickiness factor is going to be with this. I'll get a little bit of this on top. And I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to start cutting my cookie uh, roll up into slices to lay on the uh, on the waffle. Right. Since this is a Belgium waffle maker with kind of deeper deeper holes than a regular or deeper whatever cavities than a regular waffle iron, I'm going to cut these up probably about I don't know quarter of an inch, half an inch, and they they are falling apart, but. I'm sure they will remold in the waffle iron. Let's see what we got going here so far. I'm just going to start laying them on the waffle iron. A little bit of room on the edges for them to expand. I'm really looking forward to this. I have had a difficult time these last couple weeks. Eddie and I have been really sick and, and challenges, so I think having uh, cookies in the waffle iron would be kind of a nice way to end the week here. <laughs> Very nice way to end the week. Sometimes you just got to do stuff like this. There we are. I'm filling in all the holes. This is about, I'd say, a third of the of the cookie mix here on this little little waffle iron surface. I'm gonna finish this up here and then close the lid. I guess I will open it when it stops steaming, just like with a regular waffle. And uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Well, it never steamed like a uh, regular waffle, but the green indicator light came on, so let's see what's going on in there. Oh, yummy. That looks good, but it's not quite ready. I'm going to close it again, and I think I'm going to lower the temperature a little bit. I'm going to lower it down to uh, be a little more in the middle. It's still soft on the outside but a little bit dark on the outside, so hopefully the uh, change in temperature will cook the whole thing up right. <clears throat> well, that's about it. Just took a couple minutes here, so I'm gonna let that cool for a second. I turned, I'm gonna actually turn it off and just let it cool before I pull it, pull it off completely. Let's see what happens. Still a little soft. Well, okay, I let the Waffle iron cooled down a little bit and this crisped up around the edges. So I'm going to kind of carefully pry it out. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and uh, it's still warm. Looks and good. I'm going to have Eddie try a little piece of this. Let's see what he has to say. All right, Eddie, you got your milk. You have a big chocolate chip cookie waffle. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, see what you say. Actually, it's really good. Is it really good? I got really a little nervous good. there. It took you a few minutes. It's good? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good backup plan if you don't have an oven and you want some chocolate chip cookies. What do you say? That's great. I mean, I'm, I prefer this to the other way. Oh, really? Right. All right. I'm sure. Oh, I'm really glad to know. Well, Eddie has spoken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Happy baking and happy waffling.